Malaria has killed more people than all of the wars in history combined. This is caused by a deadly protist disease. Today, we're going to learn about how it spreads, and we'll also take a look at a fungal disease that affects plants. Make the most of this video and your revision time with my study along workbook. It's got loads of tasks to complete while you watch and exam questions to test what you've learnt. The link is in the description below or head over to emmatheteachy.com. Fungal diseases aren't that common in humans, with the exception of athlete's foot. They're much more common in plants. The one you need to know is rose black spot. This affects the leaves of roses. The spores of this fungus spread in the environment by wind and by water. The symptoms of rose black spot are in the name. There are purple or black spots developing on plant leaves. The leaves often turn yellow and can drop off the plant earlier than normal. Both of these symptoms result in less photosynthesis. Having purple or black spots means there's less chlorophyll in the leaf and having less leaves or yellow leaves also reduces the amount of chlorophyll. This results in less growth of the plant and can even mean that there are less or smaller roses. This disease can be treated in two ways. Firstly, we've got chemical fungicides that kill the spores. And secondly, is removing and destroying any affected leaves. This is usually done by burning them. Malaria is a deadly disease caused by protists. The malarial protist has a life cycle that involves the mosquito. Mosquitoes are vectors for malaria, meaning that they carry the disease. Only female mosquitoes bite humans, and if the mosquito is infected, it passes the protist into the human's bloodstream. Once there, it circulates around the body and damages both the blood cells and the liver cells. The symptoms of malaria are recurrent episodes of fever and shaking. It can be fatal if it isn't treated promptly. In many countries where malaria is prevalent, like Sub-Saharan Africa, the medicine isn't easily accessible or it's very expensive. So unfortunately, many people die from this disease. The spread of malaria is controlled by dealing with the vectors, i.e. dealing with mosquitoes. First up is preventing mosquitoes from biting humans. This can be done using mosquito nets and insecticide. Secondly is preventing mosquitoes from breeding. They require standing water to breed, which is just still water. So removing any standing water from areas around the home can prevent them breeding near humans. This reduces their population. All right, let's check what you've understood. Pause the video and try these quick questions. And when you're all done, just press play to go over the answers. One, how can rose black spot spread? It spreads by the air or in water. Two, name the type of pathogen that causes A, malaria. This is a protist. B, rose black spot is a fungus. C, salmonella is a bacterium. And D, measles is a virus. Three, explain how rose black spot affects the growth of rose plants. So we'll start by explaining the symptoms and then we'll explain. It causes black or purple spots to appear on leaves and some leaves may turn yellow and drop off early. Okay, now we'll give the explanation for how this affects the growth. These symptoms reduce the amount of chlorophyll that can absorb light for photosynthesis, which means less glucose is made for plant growth so the plants will be smaller and there may be less or smaller numbers of roses. Don't worry if you didn't get all the detail about the chlorophyll, as that's going to be covered more in the bioenergetics topic next. Okay, how did you do on the questions? Learn about how the human body prevents disease by clicking this video here. And if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to continue supporting me and yourself. Thank you again for watching. Bye!